se sirve afuera para que la gente la vea. I, if para I que see la gente la vea. That it has bugs on it. I'm not going to buy it. No, no entiendo. Bugs. 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 Bug. Johan is really upset by my reaction, but I'm not sure that he knows how to manage a business. Ah, uh, okay. Imagine being told by this lady that you don't know how to run a business when her idea of starting a business is going to buy a magic potion that will grant you good luck and good fortune. She's always talking about crystals and potions and elixirs and spirits. If things aren't going your way in life, just put some fruit in a basket and send it down a river. Grab a candle, wave it around, you know, rack up $80,000 in easy pass debt. You do what you gotta do. If you could just solve everything with a magic potion why would you care about racking up debt just go buy the easy pass potion boom solved last season they were talking about having kids but it may be too late for her so you know just throw a banana in a river that'll solve it mosca si sí. toda la carnicería la carne hay mosca por la carne en mi país no hay no estoy hay hablando espera. aquí sí, no tu hay, país no, Oye, no. aquí no estamos en tu país before Danielle moved to the Dominican Republic, her friends asked her what she's going to do for a living when she's there, and also how her and Johan are going to start a life when he wants to move to America and she wants to stay there. And her response was that she's going to manifest it. That That's what she's going to do. Those That's what she said. To me, it sounded as though she thought she was going on a permanent vacation, like she's just going to teach yoga on the beach and just chill in the sun all day long. And then she gets there, sees some flies in his meat shop and has a total meltdown, then goes and buys $200 worth of potions to solve it. Great job. But anyway, who needs potions when you can get a monthly supply of fragrances, colognes, scents, and perfumes from Scentbird, today's sponsor. I don't know about you, but I'm not the biggest fan of shopping in person for cologne, but I'm also skeptical to order something online because it might be expensive and I may end up not even liking it. With Scentbird, there are hundreds of options of designer brands available, and you will get three new ones every month, whichever you choose. For only $17 a month, you will get a 30-day supply for every fragrance. Some of these products can literally cost upwards of $300 if you were to just go buy a bottle on its own. I was very happy with what I received this month, specifically Royal Forest. The citrus and apple is noticeably pleasant without being overpowering. I also really liked Brioni. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. I'm not French, but this is very good stuff. And I really like this little card that they all come with, not only because of the description and the ingredients, but because if you really like one in particular, it tells you where you can go to order it and also where it's made. And to be clear, it's not like you're just getting a tiny little sample of these. There is a very good amount here. Your fragrances will come in these atomizer cases here, which are nice looking and also great because you can lock them. Of course, you can always easily open them up. There's a little spot on the bottom that allows you to do that. I would be very surprised if you were somehow able to run out of your supply of three of these between months. And if you're someone like me who's not an aficionado with this stuff but still wants to smell nice, there is really no better way to expand your fragrance library. If you want to look good, smell good, and also feel good knowing that you didn't spend money on something like potions, then you can head on over to Scentbird and use the coupon code THEQUICKSLICE for 55% off your first month. 55%. Again, that is coupon code THEQUICKSLICE for 55% off your first month. Thanks again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Anyway, let's get back to Danielle and Johan. What are they up to? My name is Danielle. I'm 42 years old and I live in the Big Apple. I have a love-hate relationship with New York. I feel like... Jeez, this drummer's going crazy. Imagine writing a jazz song just for it to be set to Danielle running around New York City. New York is a toxic boyfriend. You can't get away from him. You love him so much but you know that he's making your life worse. Can I have a large matcha latte, please, with oat milk? Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Yeah, for sure, that'll be $4,000. Did you want to ice your ice? Huh. I'm also frustrated by the traffic. I'm frustrated by how dirty it is. I'm frustrated by how expensive it is. Well, you know, to be fair, nobody's making you buy an $11 cup of coffee. Oh my God. And I know some people are gonna be like, eh, it's a latte. You know what? Whatever kind of mocha, chino, cap of whatever, it does, it's not worth $11. And her reasoning to Johan for not living in America is that it's too expensive, but nobody's making you live in New York City. So anyway, let's return to Johan's meat shop in the Dominican Republic. Since he doesn't really want to live there, he wants to move to America. I don't know how passionate about this business he really is, but Danielle is desperately wanting him to get a job and make some money since she has paid for everything so far but as soon as she steps in there all of a sudden she's a meat expert and she tries to just take over wow Ooh. imagine if the camera panned over and it's just big ed sitting on the floor gnawing on a rib Todo el carne afuera. Sí, para no? que la gente vea la carne. Pero necesita frío. Tiene frío. Para no hay frío hay moscas 
She's like, wait a minute, hold on. I didn't clear the spirits out of this room yet. You mind if I light a firecracker in here, Johan? No, but seriously, she is just very used to how things are in America and doesn't realize that not every other country does things the exact same way. She just went straight into disgust mode and in my opinion is talking to him in a bit of a condescending way. That can't be good. There's bugs. How do you eat food with bugs on it? Well, step one, don't eat raw meat off the counter. That's, you, you want to avoid that for sure, if you didn't know. And also, you don't really cook it and eat it with the flies on it. That's, that would be weird. You need meat to be cold. I don't know how to say that in Spanish, but meat needs to be cold. La carne se sirve afuera para que la gente la vea. If I see meat that it has bugs on it, I'm not going to buy it. Babe, I just watched you spend over $200 on potions. That's just giving me confidence that people will buy anything. So who cares? There's a, there's a few flies on the meat. You think a few flies are going to hold back Big Ed? Really? Mosca. Si. Sí. Toda la carnicería, la carne, hay mosca por la carne. En mi país no hay, no hay. Estoy hablando aquí, sí, no tu hay, país. No. Oye, aquí, no estamos en tu país. Aquí. And that is what she is constantly forgetting. You're in another country, Danielle. Not everything is going to be prepackaged in plastic and then jammed into a can. Es porque yo estoy enferma cuando come carne aquí. Porque tiene bacteria. No tiene bacteria la carne. Porque cuando no está fría, tiene bacteria. La carne está fría. Toca. Es no me touch it. Oh man, she is so over the top. And the more over the top she gets, the more her earrings start dangling around like crazy. I'm not a meat expert like Danielle apparently is, but I do know that just because meat is not in a fridge that it doesn't have bacteria on it automatically. But even if there is, hey, can't she just do some kind of spiritual dance or something and get rid of them? I can't believe that this is how everybody buys meat. Like even rich people, like everybody buys their meat this way. It's just like sitting out unrefrigerated with flies on it. So what Johan expected is that he would show his business and she would be very proud of him. But her reaction was more like, hey, this place is pretty gross, Johan. I wonder if anybody would ever buy meat here. Definitely not a rich person. I'm gonna put all of March in here. In computadora. Sí. Yo no tengo computadora. Tú es importante. Tú tienes un negocio sin computadora, tú tienes un problema. Johan, if you want to run a business, then you need a computer. And luckily, I know everything there is to know about computers and businesses and meat and potions. You really could not have better help here. So what we're gonna do is open up Microsoft Paint. I'm feeling really just, I don't even know what the word is. Like I was just taken aback. I was really grossed out. And I feel like he's running a business the way that I would run a lemonade stand. All right, so she puts everything into a spreadsheet and then acts like she saved the business. And she's like, Johan, don't you realize that you're losing like $70 a month? Hey, doesn't somebody still owe $100,000 to Easy Pass? Maybe you should figure that out before you start making spreadsheets in Microsoft Paint. Listen, Johan, my spiritual advisor warned me against Microsoft Excel, all right? Just calm down, everything looks fine. We'll have your business in order soon because I am here. Oh, I'm so stressed out. I could go for a $15 cup of coffee right now. I've been running a yoga and wellness business since 2018. That motivates me to break out my computer and show him how to use a spreadsheet. This very quickly veered off into just being all about her. Okay, sure, maybe she's trying to be helpful, but she's going about it all wrong, in my opinion. Instead of just being supportive and making suggestions, she tries to take over the whole thing and says, hey, this is how I do it, so this is exactly the way you need to do it too. I understand that he may not be doing everything correctly, and businesses need to turn a profit, and he's not, but you know, sometimes that does take time. You can't just turn a profit overnight. On average, most new businesses will take over a year before they even and see a profit. Okay, so, in una mes, tú tienes eso. ¿Cuántos? Dice. 19. Okay, y tú pagar eso. ¿Cuántos? 60. 60 es más o menos de 19. Es más. So, ¿cómo está? Es un negocio. Ugh, this man has incredible patience, honestly. Why is she explaining this to him like he has never heard of the concept of a profit before? What, does she think he's gonna be like, oh, I never thought of it that way before. Thank you, Danielle. Thanks, American. I didn't know how to do any of this stuff. You, you came in here with your computer and you just changed my whole world. ¿Qué tú no entiendes? Que el negocio está empezando, que es nuevo. ¿Qué tú opinas? ¿Qué tú sugieres? I, I, I have a question. I'm asking no, no, where is my... Idea, dime. ¿Qué se puede hacer? my idea is where is the money coming from? It's my question. Where did you get the money? Wait, what the heck? Why is she the one losing her patience? She came in here trying to correct everything and his response was, all right, well, what do you suggest? What do you think I should do instead? He has tremendous self-control for not constantly bringing up the whole easy pass thing. I wouldn't be able to stop talking about it. This woman had over $200,000 in debt when she filed for bankruptcy. But by all means, yes, let's flip out at Johan for losing some money 
on his meat shop. I'm trying to be patient, but I don't understand how I'm supposed to build a life with someone who can't even be bothered to do basic math. Either that or he's just being really stubborn and won't admit that he's making a mistake. Well, I don't know if anybody can build a life with somebody who treats money like it's monopoly money. In her mind, she thinks she's just gonna pass go someday and get a free handout. You know what, babe? I think you are doing an amazing job with this business. You clearly have manifested 20,000 pesos and whatever you did, you did it well. And I'm really proud of you because I don't, I, even my magic is not this good. I hate that even during this whole sarcastic rant, she still has to acknowledge that she does have magical abilities. No wonder he can't win. If you're walking around with somebody that thinks that they have magic abilities, they're gonna start to think they're better than other people. Like, how, how would you not? You're magic. If I was a wizard, you better believe I'd be shit-talking muggles all day. Ooh, they're sitting around with their computers and their spreadsheets. I just flicked my wand once and now I got endless meats. Endless meats here. I, I couldn't do that. Tu me ánimo para el negocio. Of course I brought down your spirits. I don't want spirits here. Why do you think I bring firecrackers everywhere I go, Johan? You think that's just for fun? You think I just walk around lighting candles and firecrackers for fun? You think I would do this just to appear quirky and interesting? You really, you really think that? You think that's something I would do? Oh, let me guess. Next, you're going to say you don't even believe in fairies grow up. Now let's go buy some spreadsheet potions and some money potions and we will be fine. All right. You see, this is what happens when you listen to the adult in the situation. Now, do you have any cash on you? Because I actually just bought a magic chestnut outside and um, it's going to grant me good fortune, but you know, I had to spend quite a lot on it. I've recently become a student of the Ifa tradition and I get frequent readings done by my spiritual advisor, Baba. Of course you do. Of course. Hola. Why not? Hola, amor. So in this part, Danielle is going to have her spiritual advisor do a reading of Johan to help their relationship or something. I don't know. Because yeah, that, that, that's what they need at this point. After all the issues they've had, this is going to solve it. Today, I arranged for Johan to have his own reading with Baba because I know that Johan and I ultimately want the same things. But we have so many challenges in our relationship. And we both come from very different value systems. So So even though we can't even figure out how to pay our electric bill right now, let's spend a ton of money on a spiritual reading. Yes, that is going to help us right now. That is what we need. Oh my God. I trust that what Baba says will help us move our relationship in the right direction. Jessica is my spiritual mentor, and she's the one who introduced me to Baba and to Ifa. Listen, Danielle, the reason that they're introducing you to more people has nothing to do with how spiritual you are. It simply has to do with how much money that you're going to spend on them. Evidently, you are very easy to convince. So, of course, they're going to try to meet up as much as possible and introduce you to more people and say that you need this, you need that. Do I need a spreadsheet to explain this to you? And you know what? Johan finds this whole idea ridiculous as well. But because he loves Danielle, he's willing to take it seriously and sit there with her and talk about it. Baba uses a series of tools like knots in a chain. So, however the chain falls, that's going to determine what advice Baba is going to give to Johan. He's basing his advice on dropping a chain on the floor? The man is just dropping a chain on the floor? Look, people can believe in whatever they want. If you think this kind of thing works, that's that's fine. That's great. If it works for you, then that's good. All I'm saying is, if you're going to give financial advice and then turn around and pay someone to drop a chain on the floor, you may just want to work on your critical thinking skills just a little bit. Okay, I know what he's doing is probably based on some sort of tradition, but let's be real. He could just be completely making shit up and Danielle would still just be looking at it like this. It says that he came in his, in his world with a crown on his head. Usted llegó al mundo con una corona en su cabeza. Johan is like, you know what? This is going pretty well. I like this guy. He gives good advice. Why did I doubt this? Danielle is like, damn it, you're supposed to tell him that I'm right about everything. That that was the whole point of this. Garganta. You know that he has to be careful of bones, eating bones uh, from fish, and also being careful with mushrooms. You hear that, Johan? This is important life advice. You gotta be careful about choking to death on a fish bone. All right, now where's my $400, Danielle? Tiene que tener cuidado con las espinas de los pescados, que no se le atrabanque a la garganta y lo asfixie, y también no puede comer hongos. 
what is going on? What kind of advice is that? According to her, this was supposed to help their relationship and bring them closer together, and all this guy did was say, yeah, careful not to choke on a fish bone. Hey. Hey, Sukara. What's with the face? Did you did you not just hear that? You were sitting right there with me. Is, are you is your mind not completely blown right now? We just paid a grown man to tell me not to eat a fish bone. We can't pay our bills, babe. What are we doing? And now watch, they're literally about to argue over who's paying the electric bill. Hay que pagar la luz. ¿Tú necesita? Pagar? You didn't pay for the light? Tú necesita. Um, no. I just spent all my hard-earned money on that very valuable life advice. Why would I pay the electric bill? Alright, you know what? Fine. I'll pay the bill and then we won't have anybody to tell us what foods that we won't be choking on. You know? That's great. We're, I'm, I'm sure we'll survive long. Tú no piensas es necesario habla conmigo de eso ayer? Or tú, 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 no sabe. tú, tú sabe, yo no tengo luz hoy y tú no dices yo nada? No Clearly, this guy has a lot more patience than I do because I've kind of lost it already. Anyway, I think that's about it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed the video. There's certainly more of these two, but we will get to that in another video. Everyone out there, be careful about eating fish or anything with a bone in it. I'm starting to think it's not the dumbest advice, but yeah, before I go, I just want to remind everyone to check out the podcast if you're interested. It's on Spotify and Apple, and the links for those will be in the description. Also, thanks again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to use code THEQUICKSLICE for 55% off your first month. I hope you all have a wonderful wonderful week and I will see you soon. No, no entiendo. Dude. Bugs, bugs, bugs. Mosca. Sí. Toda la carnicería la carne hay mosca por la carne.